Hello, everybody. I'm Ahmad Rashad, and this is Real TV. Hold on. You're in for a bumpy ride. He's off the horse, but can't get his hand free. Ooh, this one's gonna hurt. It's the gymnastic meet that's a real two-ring circuit. Plus, the snowmobile with a mind of its own. Culture clash. Looks like someone here has the upper hand. And 150 miles an hour, an inch off the ground, and you're in the driver's seat. Another 30 minutes of the world's best shots is coming at you on Real TV. Welcome to the show. Have you ever been on a bucking bronco and just wanted to get off? Me neither. Well, take a look at the man in our first story. I'll be back with you just a minute. At a Wisconsin rodeo, a bareback rider explodes out of the chute. He's only got eight seconds to win or eat dirt. But this time, cowboy Chris Rudd doesn't just get bucked, he gets beaten. Watch it again. Home video rolls as Chris's horse goes wild in a muddy arena. Chris is dragged by the bucking bronco, then stepped on over and over by half a ton of wild horses. try to help him, but Chris's hand is caught in the leather rigging, and he's got to get up on his feet to get free. I just basically told myself, well, here we go. You know what to do. Just tend to business, and let's get out of this situation and go on. Our pickup man has the horse. Finally, the pickup crew stops the horse and gets Chris loose. And with some encouragement from the crowd, he manages to walk out of the arena. You look up and you say, Lord, thank you for getting me through this. Chris says every rodeo rider knows a dangerous hang-up is just part of the ride. This is America's number one source for the wildest shot ever caught on tape. This is Real TV. Mechanical snow beasts rip up the white stuff in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. And on this hill climb, racers must get vertical for the win. It's a dangerous trek, but Todd Tupper rides hard. control the snowmobile. What was going through my mind was to get clear of it, not let it roll over the top of me. Obviously, I was in the position that it was going to roll over me, so I just braced myself and let it go. That's when Marvin Davidson attacks. He's a snowmobile wrangler nicknamed Crazy Marv. Another look. That's Marv and 600 pounds of tumbling metal. You just run out there and you try and grab a hold of it, and you're you're trying to use your weight against the machine, which you're at, at a disadvantage. And so it usually takes you down the hill, and you're hoping that a bunch of other hill help comes in and helps you try and get this thing stopped. I'm never afraid I'm going to get hurt. I, I don't allow that to enter into my mind. I'm just out there to have fun and get the adrenaline out of it. A world of hurt is just around the corner, right here on Real TV. It's a gymnastics showdown in Great Falls, Montana. Next up, the pommel horse event. Top-ranked gymnast Preston Bouchard shows off his sheer strength. Now it's time for him to grab on and fly high. another look. The rings bust right in half. And 
even though Preston is in severe pain. He goes on to compete in the floor exercise and qualify for nationals. Caught on tape. Caught on tape. Caught on tape. Caught on tape. Every night for a year, a man has had his video camera trained on his white truck, hoping to catch whoever keeps vandalizing it. Tonight, he finally strikes pay dirt. A neighbor the man's been feuding with comes around the corner. He's walking his dog and carrying a big brick. But the brick bounces off the truck's window, so the neighbor comes back for another try. The window shatters, and the neighbor happily strolls away, his bouncing dog at his side. But this nasty neighbor's still not satisfied. He comes back a third time, this time carrying a ball of fire. Burning rags soaked in gasoline instantly set the truck's cab aflame. Helpful local residents finally put out the fire, but not before the truck's interior is destroyed. Luckily, all of his vandalism is caught on tape. So, despite the nutty neighbor's claims of innocence, police identify him from the video and arrest him. But what's really amazing is this scene. One month later, the neighbor, out on bail, returns to visit the owner's brand new identical truck and tries to break the windshield again. But the new truck has an alarm that brings locals into the street. And since it was all caught on tape again, the malicious neighbor goes back to jail again. Some people never learn. Next up, you're going for a ride of your life. Thanks to a video camera and some souped up go-karts. Tiny cars, massive power. Go-karts turn the Isle of Man into a huge racetrack. But things are about to get hairy. Here comes the rain. And check out this. Now. A driver straps a camera to his footsteps. Watch as the cart rides low, just one inch from the ground. This road's got dangerous curves and obstacles litter the track. Then out of nowhere, a go-kart goes turbo. Carrying it up at speeds over 150 miles an hour. Wow, talk about a tight lane change. Coming up, it's a wicked turn. Take another look. The racer just narrowly misses a curve. But despite the winding road and rainy weather, the race ends crash-free. Ha <laughs> ha, we got you. You thought there was going to be a crash, didn't you? Coming up. It's a dangerous situation because the horse is scared. A horse falls through the ice on a frozen pond. Rescuers struggle against the elements to get the animal out alive. Plus the politician who's got eggs and make that pie on his face. Ahmad is back in a bit with lots more of the world's best shots. Welcome back. Our next series of tapes features politicians who prove that no matter what the occasion, they always seem to find a way to end up in hot water. Hey, King, I want to commend a whole host It's an exciting of day for 49er fans. Mayor Willie Brown announces plans to develop a new football stadium. And that's the San Francisco... Oh, 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 oh. What a mess! Activists armed with cherry, pumpkin, and tofu cream pies seize the moment to attack the mayor on some other social issues. He gets through the bittersweet ordeal with a smile, but the protesters get six months in jail. More trouble in Brazil. Congress debates the legal rights of Indians, but this guy thinks they're too demanding. Big mistake. It's back to the old drawing board. But you can bet next time he'll think twice before upsetting men who carry spears to the negotiating table.
In Taiwan, this Nationalist Party member condemns the use of foul language in Parliament. Here comes the response. The woman approaches the podium, catches the speaker off guard, and plants one right in her head. Opposing parties clash. No one gets seriously injured, and the Nationalist Party wants an apology. Repeat after me. This is the home of the world's best. Caught on tape. A horse falls through a frozen pond in Iowa and now fights for his life. It's a dangerous situation because the horse is scared. Every time he tried to get out, he stuck back in and the ice was thick. Our guys had to get in and tie ropes around the feet without getting kicked. Firefighters pull, but the massive beast is too heavy and tired. The horse just had absolutely no energy left, and I'm sure it's, you know, hypothermic. The brave animal gives it his all. It's still not enough. Let those legs go! He was buried up to the legs, and the mud was thick. Just You could only move a couple inches at a time. Then, one more effort, and the horse finds the strength. In the end, the animal's a little tired and cold, but most importantly, alive. Straight ahead. My brain froze, my body froze. Paralyzed by fear, a student skydiver spins out of control. Only his instructor can save him. Stick around. There's more great tape coming up in a flash. Welcome back. We have shown you plenty of skydivers in trouble, but it's hard to imagine being more scared than the guy in our next story unless it was me. I would be more scared. But listen to this. This guy's in a situation and he has no idea how to get out of it. Student skydiver Larry Perkins takes on the great blue yonder with his instructor Charlie Hansi. We jumped out of the plane and, and I got stable. Charlie's beside me and, and he does a front flip and shows me how to do it and, and how you're supposed to stop. But in the middle of that flip, I turned sideways and started spinning. Out of control. Faster and faster. Larry can't stop. I kept spinning and spinning. I, I realized that I didn't know what to do. My brain froze, my body froze, and I just would have sat there and spun and spun and spun. Free falling towards certain death. But then... My instructor, Charlie Hotsey, actually bumped into me to slow me down a little bit. But then he bumped into me a second time to slow me down enough to be able to deploy my parachute. Once I got on the ground and saw this video and had time to sit there and realize what had happened, that that was when it was scary. Scary enough for Larry to hang up his parachute and call it quits. But his sense of humor still flies high. When I leave the house, I kiss my wife, Sharon, goodbye. And, and she says, don't do anything stupid. And her next sentence is always anything more stupid than jumping out of the plane. Strange, but true. It's an eyeful. Straight ahead. A Texas trooper is hot on the bumper of a suspected boozer. The patrol car's dash cam rolls as a routine stop is about to get x-rated. Oh, sir, we're still back here, please. Sure, why not? This driver's got nothing to hide. I have the clothes on. Back here, sir. You let me clean up with you? I'm sorry. I'm going to ride down the road naked. I'm sorry, thank you. Oh, I'm sorry. What kind of old style of truck was you on? Stay right there and don't move. Next, the naked guy gets a sobriety test and fails. Now, the trooper's got a handcuff. Oh, God. Hang on to this somehow. Uh, wrap it around your best you can and just hold it behind your back. 
The man's arrested for drunk driving, but never reveals why he was cruising the streets in his birthday suit. Step back to the car. More great shots are chewed up and ready to roll. You're watching Real TV. Reason stopping you if you're doing this. Are you too tired? An unsteady truck driver finds this traffic stop unnerving. He's so nervous for you. Just be shaking. You okay? He was so nervous at times I would think he was going to pass out. His carotid artery in his neck was throbbing. His chest was pounding. He began sweating from his forehead. Is there any drugs in the vehicle? Now, you don't mind if I search you very quick, man. Officer Steve Colley finds only carrots, but keeps looking. Now the driver's eight-year-old son is waiting in the cab, and something comes up. Do what? So where? Where's the... You want to take him out in the woods? While the driver and his little boy make a trip to the woods, Colley keeps looking. When they get back, the officer finds something under the carrots. Cocaine. Get on the ground! Get the f*** on the ground! Get out! Get out! Of course, the dog was laying down asleep. She wasn't paying anybody any attention. He didn't know that. Woo! Okay, baby. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Collie's pretty excited because this is no small bust. The truck is loaded with over 300 pounds of cocaine. The driver pleads guilty to drug trafficking and gets 10 years. The boy goes back to his mom. As for Collie, he's proud of the bust, not so proud of the tape. When I saw the tape for the first time, I was embarrassed. If I hit it, wouldn't let nobody watch it. Cocaine, okay, baby! If I ever saw a shark, and see, the only place I'd really see a shark would probably be in a zoo. But these people, they see a shark, and they go right for it. Just off the big island of Hawaii, divers spot an eight-foot shark lurking in the shadows. Tiger sharks here in Hawaii are responsible for um, quite a few attacks, and they are considered one of the most dangerous sharks in tropical waters. But this shark isn't on the attack. It's trapped in an illegal fishing net. Brian Zixinski and a team of divers from the state of Hawaii will try to free it without losing any limbs. Their first move is to use the tangled net to flip the shark over. By turning a shark upside down on its back, it kind of soothes the shark or puts it in a trance-like state. Then they carefully cut away the net. Finally, the female shark clears out and heads back for deep water. She seems to want to get as far away as possible from the divers who saved her. But for these young biologists, this close encounter was a real thrill. This was the first time that I actually had a chance to be up close and personal with the tiger shark, and it was definitely pretty exciting. We are all out of time for today, but we're going to leave you with a whole lot of bicycle wipeouts because we know you love those. So long, everybody.